These people not just talking. They telling you, here's what I'm going to say again. Visionaries are proven right in the future. They not proven right in right now. That's why they visionaries, you a Wall Street banker. You a Wall Street investor. You run a hedge fund. You don't see the future. You gonna pay some little dude that just graduated and you pay him to think in the future because your old ass can't see the future. AI just left Earth. Google to spend $10 billion in space. Watch, bro, this is about to be interesting. Watch this. Google is taking AI into space under Project Suncatcher. The company plans to build solar-powered data centers in orbit about 400 miles above Earth to power its next generation of AI chips. Tell me if this is a bubble. How? The goal, cut land, water, and power use on Earth while tapping into solar energy that's up to eight times stronger than on the ground. Two prototype satellites will be launched in 2027, with full development expected by the mid-2030s, when, when costs could rival Earth-based sitters. If successful, Google could redefine how AI is powered beyond a... Tell me, how is this a bubble? I'm trying to figure out how it works. Think about it. When you got a solar panel, it's cables to run into your house over. Right? So they're going to have it connected to the satellites. They got more energy out there. But is it how they feed it to us to power stuff? Man, we ain't that smart. <laughs> Nigga, we run media, not satellites. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm just, my brain is like... Yup, it's going to fry you. Yup. <laughs> but what you got to do? You got to ask AI. I got to ask, got to ask the AI. You got to ask AI <laughs> how the AI going to be powered by... <laughs> is it a long cable? <laughs> oh man! Listen, they it's the it. same thing when the people. What else they say? Oh, we having cooling problems. Microsoft, what they say? Oh, we having cooling problems. I got an issue for it. What are we gonna do? We gonna build AI data centers in the ocean. What? Yeah, the cooling. We gonna build the cooling, put them in the ocean. It's not a bubble. The people is spinning. Billions of dollars because they saying this is what we going at. This is not a bubble, bro. This is people spending real money on the one thing that people not saying. Infrastructure. People are, these companies, who, what companies it is though? It's the big seven. Meta, hey, we about to build the biggest AI center, data center ever. Where at? In Louisiana. I don't build that on a bubble. I just need us to look at when we people saying, oh, we in a bubble, we in a bubble. Bro, why they... All right, let's go a little further. Watch this. Jeff Bezos just gave Elon Musk some much-needed competition. Watch this out. Check it out. We're going to start building these giant gigawatt data centers in space. So these giant training clusters, those will be better built in space because we have solar power there 24-7 and the solar power there is, there are no clouds and no rain, no weather. So you can build, we will be able to beat the cost of terrestrial data centers in space in the next couple of decades. And so space will end up being one of the places that keeps making Earth better. It already has happened with weather satellites. It's already happened with communication satellites. The next step is going to be data centers and then other kinds of manufacturing. <laughs> next, they're going to put an AI factory on the moon, talking about, hey, ain't no rain, <laughs> ain't no clouds, ain't no storms, with a long cable. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that plugs in in Arizona. <laughs> oh, bro. Bro, just check it out. These people not just talking. They telling you, here's what I'm going to say again. Visionaries are proven right in the future. They not proven right in right now. That's why 
They visionaries? You a Wall Street banker. You a Wall Street investor. You run a hedge fund. You don't see the future. You gonna pay some little dude that just graduated and you pay him to think in the future because your old ass can't see the future. These dudes is visionaries, bro. Then you're gonna look back in 2030 and you don't think you see 2030. And you'll be like, damn, that go to, that go to, that go to, that go to, damn, what that is? Yep, Google got one out there. They, bro, the justice is real. This is gonna happen whether we go through a recession, depression, whatever. You know why? This real, this, so watch this. This is why they firing so many people. Bro, I got to fire y'all so I can keep on having more money because where I'm going at going to cost. But once I get there, profits go through the roof. That's why they keep firing so many people, dog. And so this is why learning how to trade, learning how to cut, bro, learning how to do something to bring in some extra money going to be important because that universal basic income gonna put everybody on welfare. Bro, think about this, bro. This dude done came out of retirement. Jeff, he on the whole, he like, hey, I don't even wanna be on Amazon anymore, bro. Yeah. Like, I'ma just be on the board, I'm good, I'm, I'm straight. Bro done came out of retirement. Like, ooh, watch this. I, I said this about Elon before. I said this, bro. Think about this, bro. After you become the richest man in the world, there's nothing left for you to do until you find something that's going to challenge you. So, Jefton already did what? Changed the game with what? Amazon. It's a revolutionary company. But guess what? When he was just selling books, we ain't thought that was, right? Nobody want to buy no books. What about anybody who books online? And then watch this. For 15 years, bruh ain't make no profit. So here's what I don't like either. I don't like when people be saying, if you don't own Amazon here, this is how much you have. You know how hard that is? Bruh, watch this. I did the research. There's only four people that held on to Amazon from its IPO. That was Jeff Bezos, his mama, his daddy, and one of his close friends, every, the people that gave him the million dollars. And people keep saying, hey, you know, they be keep fucking your boy who sold Apple for $8 or whatever. Be like, that's some of the biggest mistakes he made. No, the dude became a millionaire after that. Guess what? You talking about this man making a mistake, but you can't even hold during a downturn. Elon Musk says Tesla plans to build one million humanoid robots. Why the number 2030 keep coming up? You know why? Because visionaries understand the timeline on what it's going to take between time, research, execution, deliverabilities. Every human on Earth is going to want to have their own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. But, it, but actually, Optimus will be even better than that. R2-D2 just kind of would beep at you, and it's kind of hard to figure out what he's talking about. You know, you see three field to translate, but Optimus is going to be, everyone's going to want one. I, I think there could be tens of billions of Optimus robots out there. The, the scale of, of, of Optimus, like I said, that's really going to be something else. I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. So I'm just trying to understand, once everybody laid off, how are you going to buy the robot? No, no, why is it? Look, 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 look. Why this? Put on layaway. Look at this. Tesla, then Apollo, then... Boston Dynamics, Tesla again. Come on, look at these people that building robots, fam. It's not a game. Bruh, it's not a game. Bruh, that just says 511. Go, go back, go back. It's not a game. <laughs> Bro, look at this. 511, 511. Bro, I don't want no 511 robot <laughs> in my house. <laughs> then you might. Matter of fact, you a quarter inch taller than me. I'm five right. ten and a half. Five eleven. You think you can take me? <laughs> look at the Unitree joint. Look like it's ready to fight already. Come on, bro. <laughs> look, five six. Man, I don't want nothing over three feet. 
Say you can kick it. Get your stupid ass off here. At five foot, he challenging me. Right. Or she, or uh, it, or uh, whatever. And I ain't you, doing it. Travel and you know it's AI, you so it's learning. <laughs> it's learning. I ain't doing it. What you mean? That is not the right thing for me to do. What are you talking about? I said, no, you do it. What? <laughs> then he waterproof. I throw some water on like, aha, he laugh at you. <laughs> ah, that don't work. <laughs> then I saw the thing that said, they programmed the machine. Bruh, watch this. That thing will blackmail you. Yeah. It can blackmail you. You see Megan. Then, then, I saw the dude had the one in his house running into the glass, flipping the skillet over. There's no way. I keep telling people, bro, listen to me, fam. Like, the way people be hacking computers and hacking this, yep. bro, there's no way nobody not going to hack that. Yep. Looking at you. Come open the door while he gone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that? What was <laughs> oh, <laughs> they hacking. Look, where does Wall Street Trapper live? You, you ain't know where they hacking. I know where he lives. Bruh. What? <laughs> Bruh. Are you in Wall Street Trapper's house? Yes, I am. Because you know what you're going to do. You're going to program the thing to say your name. Come on, huh? Huh? Now they got the signal going into the thing. They open the door. You gone. You talking about guard the house before I leave. I got you, trap. <laughs> Opening the door. <laughs> you come in, everything gone. He about, I thought it was you, trap. What? Nah, man, I don't want that. I wouldn't even know how to sleep with that thing in my house. But here's what we can't deny. The visionaries are saying, this where we going. It ain't you and me saying this where we going. It's the richest people in the world saying this where we going. Look who's saying this. There's not no anybody saying it. This is not nobody on the corner. This is not a startup company. This is Elon Musk. This is Jeff Bezos. This is... Mark Zuckerberg, this is the dudes that own Google, this is NVIDIA, this is the richest companies in the, Larry Ellison, this is the richest people in the world and the richest companies in the world saying, yo, this is what we putting our money to go at. And all they keep doing is buying companies, watch this, they buying and acquiring companies that help them get there faster. So if you don't think this is where we going, there's no way this is a bubble. And that's all I'm trying to get you to understand. You cannot negotiate the necessary. This is the necessary. So what you need to be doing is saying, how do I put my money in the future? How do I put my money in the future and deal with the pressure now? 